What's up guys welcome back to yet another interesting video in which we'll be exploring all the features of Nothing Phone 1 so basically we'll be taking a close look at Nothing OS along with the stability and missing features what we don't get to see on Nothing OS and side by side we'll also compare the Nothing OS with Google's stock Android 12 so without wasting any more time let's get started so here you can see there are two phones right now towards the right hand side this is Nothing Phone 1 which was recently released and if you guys haven't checked out our first impression video make sure to check that out it's a very detailed video guys and towards the left hand side we have oneplus 7 pro which is running a very close to stock room which is called pixel experience room this is based on android 12 l and as far as i know nothing phone one is still running on android 12 not 12.1 or 12 well because on the screen you guys can take a look these are the codes of nothing os and which is also using android 11 vendor which is a quite older vendor so first we'll take a look at the changes in boot animation compared to stock android 12 on nothing phone one yes we have a custom boot animation which looks pretty good compared to the stock android 12 boot animation with those nothing dotted fonts and it's a complete personal preference And before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And guys, I'm just comparing these things to show the difference between the stock Android 12 and nothing OS, which is very close to stock Android 12. One of the most question what people have been asking is related to the dialer. So yes, guys, we have Google stock dialer which also includes that pre-announcement but if you guys want to disable this pre-announcement we have already done a video on it along with google dialer we have google stock messaging app pre-installed on this device one good thing about nothing os is it came out of the box with zero bloat no unnecessary apps were found on nothing os here you can see these are the only applications which were installed soon i unbox the device so here a good job done by nothing now talking about the home screen so here there are a bit of difference but it looks very similar to stock android 12. here you can see towards the left top side we have the date time along with weather though on nothing phone we have this dotted font and we don't have the ability to change the fonts also we do get to see nothing launcher here which doesn't come with much of customization options very limited ones like you can disable the app icon to be added on home screen then you have swipe to access google apps and you can also enable or disable app suggestions when it comes to customization part so here we have a section of customization when we long press on android 12 we do get the option of wallpaper and styles widgets and home settings wallpaper and styles can be found in the customization section so let's take a look here and here you can see almost everything is similar we do have the support of material u on nothing os we also get the option to change between the color palettes one thing which is missing here under wallpapers and style section and that's themed icon other than that almost everything is present grid size we only have two options on nothing os wherein on stock devices stock android 12 we do get multiple options we can change the icons with a single click if you take a look at the widgets on both these os so here everything seems to be same but one add-on what you'll find here is we have few particular widgets from nothing which includes this analog clock digital and this weather widget so this is one difference what you guys gonna notice on nothing phone one or you can say nothing os and another thing you cannot remove this google search bar from the nothing os home screen that is again one drawback i think hopefully in future updates we might get the ability to remove this search bar it would have been good if it was at the bottom side instead of on the top side on the home screen if you long press on the app icon you'll get an additional option on nothing os which is used to enlarge the size of the app I kind of feel it is not usable or it doesn't even look good but as said it's always a personal preference on the lock screen also you'll find a lot of similarities for example here you can see this widget towards the left hand side we have this widget of date time and weather though the clock style is quite smaller compared to stock on stock you can reduce the size wherein we don't have any option to enlarge the size of clock on nothing os so this is the dial pad which is kind of similar though if you type any numbers on stock android you can see the numbers on the top side but on nothing phone one it is very close to the number pad we do have the option of emergency calling on both the lock screens now talking about the quick setting panel so again here you'll find bit of difference on nothing os compared to stock os with this first swipe down 
you can see here we have three into three tiles on stock os we get two into two tiles but if you see the top tiles on nothing os which are bigger in size and if you swipe down more then you can see it completely becomes rounded for mobile connectivity and bluetooth we have options directly to swipe in that specific tile itself and also if you take a look at the brightness bar which is on the top side of quick setting tiles on stock android 12 but here it is beneath these two huge circular tiles and i think it looks bit weird but this is how it is now talking about the app drawer which is kind of similar on both these phones on the top side you can tap and search for the application though we don't have any option for universal search you can only search for the applications present Camera UI doesn't have much of changes or a unique look but camera comes with one great feature where you can use this glyph light or you can say LED lights to capture photos in the darker environment. Now talking about the settings so here also kind of similar look on stock android you can see the image of the user but that's not the case on nothing phone one one thing again which i don't like on nothing os is the ability to customize the dark mode so here if you enable dark mode we still get to see that grayish color instead of that pitch dark theme it would have been good if they would have provided the option like this which comes on oxygen os where you can customize the dark mode settings Talking about always on display so we don't have any option to customize the always on display and by default it is disabled when you get the phone you need to enable it manually by going inside the display section and lock screen settings. And this is how AOD looks on stock OS and nothing OS. Same we have the weather widget towards the left top side, clock in the center and bottom side fingerprint scanner with battery percentage. One of the most loud feature is the glyph interface on nothing OS. So here you can customize the backlights as per your requirement. You can set different lighting patterns for different ringtones and notifications also. Also with the newer update, they have also given few more options to customize the glyph interface. And now we also have the support of adding custom songs. So from here, you can add any custom ringtone and accordingly the LEDs will glow. And it's not mandatory to use the glyph interface with ringtone itself. You can also use it with the vibration. For example, if you're device is kept in silent mode. There are many more options given here. For example, charging meter, which indicates the battery percentage or you can say battery level. Then this thing can also be triggered with Google Assistant feedback. And we have another feature which says flip to glyph. So if this feature is enabled and if you flip your device and keep it on the flat surface, the device goes into do not disturb mode and these LEDs will glow. Soon you pick it up, device comes to normal mode and again whenever you want to keep it to do not disturb just flip the phone and keep it aside. Basically glyph interface is the feature which most users liked is the core strength of this device. We haven't seen any device with these custom LEDs on the back. Nothing came out of the box with a newer design and a unique look. So here you have the patterns which you can select for the ringtones. Depending on the patterns or ringtones, you can choose any one of them. About section. About section of Nothing OS looks kind of similar to Oxygen OS. So here you can take a look at the Nothing OS About section and Android 12 stock About section. You can see the Oxygen OS About section on the screen and Nothing OS About section kind of looks similar. We have the developers option on Nothing OS. If you want, you guys can unlock the bootloader. Though I'll do a detailed video on routing and unlocking bootloader of Nothing Phone 1. Only one add-on application you'll guys see on Nothing Phone and that's Nothing Recorder application. So it's a quite good application to record audios which includes features like voice focus. Again a unique UI of recorder application of Nothing and we have a disk to move back, forward or on the particular point of recording. Also talking about the gaming mode which isn't properly implemented on Nothing OS. So let me show you an example. If you go to settings and see the game mode, here we have only two options which is do not disturb and mistouch prevention. Other than these, you won't get any kind of options like what we get on stock Android 12 where we have the ability to take screenshot, directly record video from the gaming dashboard, FPS meter. Basically, they haven't added the gaming dashboard though we have a gaming mode available. So let me show you how does it look whenever we launch the game. So for example, let's launch BGMI and here you can see it will just show you an icon that gaming mode is turned on. Nothing else. We don't have any other options or you can say gaming dashboard. 
This is the screen recorder option which is present on Nothing Phone 1 and towards the left hand side that's present on stock Android 12. Here we have one additional option which says show touch on the screen but that thing is not present on stock Android. There's also a difference between the recent panel between stock Android and Nothing Phone 1. On stock Android here you can see the clear all appears with a filled pill but that's not the case on Nothing Phone 1. And also we don't get to see that haptic feedbacks while scrolling the recent pages. Here we can feel the haptic feedback while scrolling the recent page. And also here towards the bottom side you can see on stock Android we do get the options like screenshot and if you want to select any stuff you can do that. That's not the case here. If we talk about the split screen on stock Android if you enable split screen on the top side you can get to see the icon of the application which you have selected for split screen that isn't the case on nothing os and if you have opened the apps in the split screen mode this is how it looks if you try to resize the application on stock os you can see the icon of those application appears but here on nothing os we don't see anything like that another cool feature which i liked in the recent panel so whenever you long press on the recent app icon here we get an option of pop-up menu which isn't the case on stock android if you tap on pop-up view this will open the application in a smaller window or you can also say floating windows we do get the ability to drag and increase the size of the window but it's quite difficult i think it requires more optimization though we have these options like whenever you tap on the floating windows in the default size you can increase the size just by tapping these two arrows and if you do it once again the size will increase more and if you have to remove the floating windows there is no icon to do that you just have to swipe back and there also you will see a minor glitch so i think it is not properly optimized but in future updates this thing will be fixed and at last now let's talk about some of the missing features on nothing os which i think these features should have been added with the initial release itself and one of that feature is app lock or you can say hide apps and that feature is hiding the applications or you can say app lock so we don't have that ability on nothing phone one but in future this might get added i've seen many users prefer this feature on their os or you can say device wherein they use this feature to hide their personal data or you can say applications so right now it isn't present on nothing os but if in future it gets added i'll update you guys in the new video then talking about the next feature next feature is also related to applications wherein we don't have the support of dual apps and again there are many users who use this feature if they have two sim cards accordingly they use the applications so that feature is also not present on nothing phone os and as i said earlier we don't have the option of themed icon no option to customize aod like how we can do on oxygen os and other oems and also no fingerprint customization we have the basic fingerprint animation which can be used on nothing phone so if you are buying nothing phone one right now you have to compromise on these things and at last no support of dolby atmos so guys these are the features of nothing phone one along with the missing features which i personally feel should have been added on nothing os but what are your thoughts you guys let me know in the comment section below and now coming to the conclusion with no doubt nothing os is very close to stock but i kind of feel it gives vibes of a custom row overall software is too good but still i have seen bit of issues in the ui these are some of the screenshots which you can take a look at and this doesn't happen all the time randomly this thing appears also a bit of jitters and lags while scrolling around as said this software requires a lot of optimizations right now i'm not blaming the brand but it'll be great if nothing fixes these minor ui glitches as soon as possible it's a great device with a combination of close to stock android look but you guys let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about this nothing os and its feature and what all features you guys expect on nothing phone one that also you guys let me know in the comment section below so guys this was a complete walkthrough of nothing os along with the features and missing features i hope you guys are gonna like this video if you like the video then make sure to hit that like button and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day